today's video, we are going to learn about middleware in Django. So first we will learn what is middleware, how middleware works and then I will show you how to create a custom middleware that measure the time it takes to load a page. So let's see what is middleware. Middleware is like a middleman between the web server and your Django view. It can modify the request before it reaches to your view or it can modify the response before it gets sent back to the server. So Django comes with several built-in middleware components that handles things like security check, session management, user authentication, etc. You can see in the Django settings that we have security middleware, session middleware, authentication middleware, common middleware, etc. So now let's see how middleware works. So when a request is made to your Django application, it first passes through a series of middleware components. Each one has a chance to inspect and modify the request before it reaches the view. After the view processes the request and returns a response, the response again passes through the same middleware components before being sent to the user. So now let's see how to create a custom middleware that will help us to measure how long it takes to load a page. So first you need to create a file in which you are going to define your custom middleware. So I'm going to create this file in Django's main project. So in this file we are going to create a new middleware class. Let's call it load time middleware. This class will have two main parts, the request processing and the response processing. First, we are going to define init method. That is a special method in Python and uh, it is called when instance of a class is created. And we'll pass get response in the parameter. Get response is a callable like a function that represents the next layer in the request response process. In Django's middleware chain, each middleware component can process a request before passing it onto the next middleware or the view itself. So when the get response function is called, it will pass the request further down the line or directly to the view if no other middleware is left. Now let's define a call method. In Django middleware, this method is where the request is actually processed. First we will capture the current time right before the request is processed. And then this line is the key part. Here we call the get response function that was stored in the init method. This function takes the request object as its argument and returns a response object. This line hands off the request to the next middleware or the view in line and then after the response has been generated and returned, this line captured the time again. And then we will calculate the total time it took from when the request was received and when the response was returned. And then we are going to print the time. And now you need to add your custom middleware in your Django setting. Here first you need to write the name of your app or your folder and then the file name in which you have defined your custom middleware and then the name of your custom middleware. And now let's run the Django server and if we visit this page and now you can see that uh, we get the time taken to load the page printed in our console. So if you found this video useful, you can like this video and subscribe to get more content like this.